Packing up for the skating competition. I'm bringing a bunch of st uh, food, like some protein shakes, and I'm actually bringing my powder and all my stuff um, because I feel like if I put everything in here, I have no excuse to not eat well. I'm staying in Extended Stay America that has a kitchen. I even got these waters with no flavor because I don't even do artificial sweetener. This one has like four calories, the cucumber one does, but this one has nothing. And it's supposedly just natural flavor. There's no sugar, but uh, cucumber has a little bit of natural calories anyways. Not much. So I'm packing all of my stuff. I have my mixes and all that. So then that way I cannot get off my plan. Um, skating competition actually has some really good options like fruit, like they have apples and stuff. So for my midday protein shakes where I get apples and then my vitamin supplements, I'm just going to eat the fruit they have there. Um, but I'm going to put all this, it's got to just stay cold and I got to take my doggie to the kennel. It's just got to stay cold a couple hours and then I can take it to the hotel. Ali, I love that face. It's so cute. You excited? Yeah, he's so pretty. So this is what you have to do when you're a competitor at an ice skating competition, coaching. Had to get an extended stay America because, well, I get the fridge and I got the sink and I brought a shaker bottle and a microwave and there's my cooler and obviously my stuff to stay and then I brought my protein powder and then this is my awesome new Starbucks cup. You don't even understand, the bird lady needed the bird. Um, the view, not great, but you know what? I'm staying like off where the skating competition is because the skating competition is kind of, I got my summer dress on, it's actually quite nice. Um, but the skating competition is actually kind of in like a really seedy area of town. So the skate a couple of miles away, but it's still going to be so much better than um, driving home because my drive isn't that great and the traffic and I have really bad allergies so my throat sounds all stuffy and gross and everything so now I'm gonna find a gym there's a 24-hour fitness which is why I go to um, just down the street from here so I'm going to unpack my food before it gets all nasty and probably already is I put a lot of ice in there but I was in the rink for a really long time and my students did so good oh my god I'm like super proud coach but I'll get into that all later and I'm gonna go to the gym now. So sorry if I'm like looking at my phone, looking at the mirror, looking at the phone. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is pretty epic little setup I got here. So I'll, this will be my home for two nights and then just typical bathroom. But yeah, the fridge and I already got my water bottle in there. Anyway, I'm gonna start getting unpacked. Hi everybody, I just got back from the gym. <clears throat> my throat is really stuffed up too because I have allergies and you know, here's what it is. But I have a skating competition this weekend, but I'm also eight weeks out from my next competition. So I stayed at Santa State America, which I showed you in the last clips, and they give you like a whole little package with all your stuff. But obviously I brought all my Tupperware and stuff too. So that way I can bring my food with me because I'm going to try and do my best. I do have a cheat meal this weekend, but I'm going to try and do my best to stay on it. The rest of the time, um, I have been taking antihistamines and I've noticed that I'm like super puffy. Like I can like feel it. And I haven't, I've been bad about drinking my water, which also makes me puffy. Um, cause it's been hard cause I've been on my feet all the time and I have a lot of students at this show. Um, so all my basic skills, except for my little boy, won their groups. And I was very, very proud of them. It was because my students work really hard and you know, I have a very good relationship with my students too. I don't just do it for money. I, I really, really appreciate these kids. And I've noticed that that really makes a huge difference too. Um, but overall, a lot of people were very positive and came up to me and told me how great some of my students have improved. I did have a good day. My students did great. Everybody got first or second. The only people that got second was they got second against one of my other students. So I was happy. Um, but I am wearing my fitnessmodels.com shirt. I don't know if any of you are part of that group, but it's pretty amazing. Um, they sought me out and um, do a phone interview and their supplements are pretty good. I just started using them. So anyways, I'm super, super fluffy. I can always tell because I have boobs. <laughs> um, holding a lot of water <laughs> and my chin. <laughs> anyway, but I it's funny because when I get a little fluffier, I have my hair down and I was wearing a long dress earlier. Everybody always thinks I'm that girl from Game of Thrones. 
And so I had to pee really bad because I was drinking a bunch of water on my way up here. So I was like, God, I'll go to this gas station and get a five hour energy and ask her to use their bathroom. So I asked to use the bathroom and the lady whispers to me and she was like, we don't have a public restroom. But she was like, I'll let you use it because I'll do anything for the mother of dragons. And I'm like, oh my God. And I was like, thanks, because I really have to pee. Thank you, Game of Thrones, for letting me pee today. Um, Cause she probably wouldn't have let me if I didn't look like Khaleesi. So that was interesting. But other than that, it was a super good day and traveling on a diet sucks. And I have to do it again in two weeks and I'm not in a Santa Fe America. So I'm gonna have to do everything out of a cooler and it's further away, it's about three hours from home as this is only about 60 minutes, 64 minutes it says from home. But um, if anybody knows Seattle traffic, 60 minutes from home is four hours through Seattle. Um, this drive, um, one time I left at 3.30 and um, it took me, and I'm only 60 minutes from this competition because I'm about 25 minutes from downtown Seattle and I'm about, and this is about 25 minutes north of it, so it's maybe like 50 minutes. Um, yeah, it took me, uh, I left at 3.30 from here and to get home, it took, I, I got home at 7.40 p.m. Okay, so I decided to get a hotel, and this hotel wasn't that expensive, and I have a kitchen. That's the hardest part is staying in a hotel without a kitchen, but I got my Tupperware. I'm going to pack it up, even though they told me there was free breakfast with waffles, and it was really hard for me to say no to free, but I brought my food for a reason. So, I am going to shower because I am disgusting. Like, I can't even believe I'm doing a video looking like this. I'm disgusting. I've been in a skating rink all day, and now I'm sweaty because I did a bunch of cardio. And then I'm gonna eat. And then I have two more days of the skating competition. And I'm really hoping my theater ice qualifies, but I will keep you updated on my progress. I'm seeing my coach next Friday, hopefully. Um, and then the following Monday, I'm putting in my wine grapes and then I'm in Wenatchee for another skating competition. But after Wenatchee, I can really, really crack down on my diet because I've been eating okay, but this water weight that I got going on from not drinking enough water and from um, my antihistamines, I'm like super vascular right now, if you can't tell, um, cause I'm just like holding like everything. Um, but it's like, you can't even see my muscles. Like you can like see the water, it's disgusting. I was looking at myself in the mirror like, that's the hardest part about competing. You have like kind of bad body image you're used to yourself having makeup on and not looking chunky even though I do kind of like having boobs but you know those will be gone in a couple weeks so anyways I'm glad you guys are sticking around um, and if you have any questions about vegetarian dieting or figure skating or anything um, that even isn't fitness um, like my gardening stuff I put in my garden by the way was it 5200 square feet garden it's huge um yeah i'm gonna have like all my food i won't have to grocery shop anymore uh, oh and speaking of grocery shopping if i do run out of food there's a whole foods across the street which is non-union so i tend to not go there but they have really good food and then there's a fred meyer too which is union so i might go a little further but whole Foods sometimes has better uh apples uh so and i need apples i think that's all the only thing i forgot was apples i ate one and now i'm out but anyways okay now i'm rambling bye